All right, John, thanks. Tonight, our ABC 7i team investigating racial disparity in COVID-19 testing locations. A new analysis shows that many cities across the country are struggling to reach black and Latinx communities with the virus testing. But here in Chicago, the findings appear to be different. City and community leaders have tackled racial equity head on, making sure that communities hardest hit by COVID-19 have equal access to testing. Volunteers helping 1,200 families at a time. The Greater Auburn Gresham Development Corporation's efforts are meeting immense and immediate needs. Everyone in our community should, should be tested. And so we've begun pushing that message out into hotspot areas. COVID-19 is disproportionately impacting black and Latinx communities, both here in Chicago and across the nation. In many places across the country, there are not enough testing sites in minority communities. 37 major U.S. cities had a greater gap than Chicago in how well their COVID testing sites met the demand of black and Latinx communities. And this is according to a new data analysis by 538, ABC News, and the ABC-owned television stations, which estimate that testing site access is basically even across racial groups in Chicago. In Latinx neighborhoods, the analysis estimated that testing sites were about 4% busier than sites in majority white Chicago neighborhoods. Those in black neighborhoods were actually a little less likely to be busy than in white neighborhoods. The largest racial testing access gaps were found in San Antonio, in Dallas, Baltimore, Philadelphia, and Miami. Flexibility based on data is how we're going to stay on top of COVID and we're going to keep pushing resources to wherever they're most needed. Chicago's leaders created the Racial Equity Rapid Response Team to target communities that have been hardest hit by the virus with testing and support, saying that those efforts are key to the testing equity reflected in the data analysis. We are not going to erase uh, decades of disinvestment and uh, overnight. So we have to act in the moment um, in ways that help us address uh, what's happening right now. And city officials are planning to use the infrastructure created in response to COVID-19 to continue targeted public health efforts in the years to come. Now, our data analysis did not consider every factor impacting testing. We didn't account for, say, capacity, the hours of operation, or eligibility requirements. But you can read more about the findings. Just go to abc7chicago.com and click on iTeam. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.